Selections from the Profitable Store of the Reward of Good Deeds Part 4 The Reward of Reciting the Verse of Kursi Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. The Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, entrusted me to guard the Zakah revenue of Ramadan. Then, someone came to me and started stealing from the foodstuff. I caught him and said, I will take you to the Messenger of Allah. Then, Abu Huraira told the whole narration and added, He, the thief, said. When you go to your bed, recite the verse of Kursi, for there will be a guard from Allah who will protect you all night long, and Satan will not be able to come near you till dawn. Thereupon, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said, He told you the truth, even though he is a liar. That was Satan. Narrated by Al Bukhari, 3275. The reward of reciting the concluding verses of Surat al Baqarah. Abu Masyud, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever recites the two verses at the end of Surat al Baqarah at night, they will suffice for him. Narrated by Al Bukhari, 5009, and Muslim, 807. The reward of reciting Surat al Baqarah and Surat al Imran. Abu Amam al Bahili, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, I heard the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, say. Recite the two shining ones, Al Baqarah and Surat al Imran, for they will come on the day of judgment as two clouds or two shades, or two flocks of birds in ranks, pleading for their companions. Narrated by Muslim, 804. An Nawaz ibn Saman al Kilabi, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, I heard the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, say, The Quran and those who acted according to it will be brought on the day of judgment with Surah al Baqarah and Al Imran preceding them. The Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, likened them to three things, which I did not forget afterwards. He said, like two clouds, or two black canopies with light between them, or like two flocks of birds in ranks pleading for their companion. Narrated by Muslim, 805. The Reward of Surat al kaf al Barib ibn Azib reported, while a man was reciting Surat al kaf with a horse tied with two ropes at his side, a cloud overshadowed him, and as it began to come nearer and nearer, his horse began to take fright. He went and mentioned that to the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, in the morning, he said, that was tranquility which came down by reason of the Quran. Narrated by Al Bukhari, 5011, and Muslim, 795. The reward of memorizing the first ten verses of Surat al Kaf. Abu Ad Dada, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever memorizes the first ten verses of Surat al Kaf will be protected from the Antichrist. Narrated by Muslim, 809. The reward of reciting Surat al Iklas. Abu Ad Dada, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Is any of you incapable of reciting a third of the Quran in a night? They said, how could one recite a third of the Quran? He said, say. He is Allah, the one, is equivalent to a third of the Quran. Narrated by Muslim, 811. The reward of the remembrance of Allah. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. As the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, was traveling on the way to Mecca, he reached a mountain called Jumdan. Thereupon, he said, Go on, this is Jumdan, the Mufridun have gone ahead. They said, What are the Mufridun, O Messenger of Allah? He said, Those men and women who remember Allah frequently. Narrated by Muslim, 2676. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Allah says, I am just as my servant thinks of me, and I am with him if he remembers me, if he remembers me in himself, I too, remember him in myself. And if he remembers me in a group of people, I remember him in a group that is better than them, and if he comes one span near to me, I go one cubit near to him. And if he comes one cubit near to me, I go a distance of two outstretched arms near to him, and if he comes to me walking, I go to him running. Narrated by Al Bukhari, 7405, and Muslim, 2675. The Reward of the Gatherings of Dikr. 
Mawiya, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, went out and found his companions sitting in a circle, and he asked them. What made you sit here? They replied, we sat to remember Allah and praise him for guiding us to Islam and bestowing favor upon us. He said. I adjure you by Allah, has nothing else made you sit together? They said, by Allah, nothing else has made us sit together. Thereupon, he said. I did not adjure you because I suspected you, but Jibril came and told me that Allah Almighty is speaking proudly of you to the angels. Narrated by Muslim, 2701. Abu Hayra and Abu Sa'a apostrophe I dot D. Al Qudri, may Allah be pleased with both of them, reported that they testified that the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. No group of people gathers to remember Allah Almighty except that the angels will surround them, mercy will cover them, tranquility will descend upon them, and Allah will mention them before those who are near him. Narrated by Muslim, 2700. The reward of the words of monotheism, there is no God but Allah. Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, I said, O Messenger of Allah, who will be the luckiest person who will gain your intercession on the day of resurrection? He said, O Abu Hurairah, I thought that none will ask me about this hadith before you, as I know your longing for hadiths. The luckiest person who will have my intercession on the day of resurrection will be the one who says La ilaha illa Allah, there is no God but Allah, sincerely from the bottom of his heart. Narrated by Al Bukhari, 6570. The reward of saying there is no God but Allah, alone, with no partner, to him belongs the dominion and to him praise is due, and he has power over all things a hundred times a day. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever says La ilaha illa Allah, wa ha'u la sharik lahu, lahu al mulk wa lahu al hamd, wa hu wa ala kali shayn katia, there is no God but Allah, alone, with no partner. To him belongs the dominion and to him praise is due, and he has power over all things, a hundred times a day will have a reward equivalent to that for emancipating ten slaves. A hundred good deeds will be recorded to his credit, a hundred of his sins will be blotted out from his scroll, and he will be safeguarded against the devil on that day till the evening. And no one will exceed him in doing more good deeds except someone who recited these words more often than him. Narrated by Al Bukhari, 3293, and Muslim, 2691. The reward of saying glory be to Allah and praise is due to him a hundred times a day. Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever says Subhan Allah wa bihamd, glory be to Allah and praise is due to him, a hundred times a day will have his sins forgiven, even if they were like the foam of the sea. Narrated by Al Bukhari, 6405, and Muslim, 2692. The reward of saying glory be to Allah and praise is due to him, and glory be to Allah, the Majestic. Two words are light on the tongue, heavy in the balance, and are loved by the most merciful. Subhan Allah wa bihamdi, Subhan Allah al azim, glory be to Allah and praise is due to him, and glory be to Allah, the Majestic. Narrated by Al Bukhari, 6406, and Muslim, 2694. The reward of saying Subhan Allah wa alhamdulillah, glory be to Allah, and praise be to Allah. Abu Malik al Ashari, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Alhamdulillah fills the scale, Subhan Allah and Alhamdulillah fill what is between the heaven and the earth. Narrated by Muslim, 223. The reward of saying glory be to Allah, and praise be to Allah, and there is no God but Allah, and Allah is the greatest. Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. For me to say Subhan Allah, wa alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illa Allah, wa Allahu Akbar, glory be to Allah, and praise be to Allah, and there is no God but Allah. And Allah is the greatest, is dearer to me than all that the sun rises upon. Narrated by Muslim, 2695. Samur ibn Jindab, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. The most beloved words to Allah are for, Subhan Allah, wa alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illa Allah, wa Allahu Akbar. It does not matter which of them you say first. Narrated by Muslim, 2137.
the reward of Tazbai, Subhanallah, glorifying Allah. Saad, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. As we were with the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, he asked, Is any one of you unable to earn a thousand good deeds every day? One of those present asked. How can one earn a thousand good deeds in a day? He replied, He glorifies Allah a hundred times, a thousand good deeds will be recorded for him, or a thousand sins will be erased from his record. Narrated by Muslim, 2698. The reward of saying Subhan Allah wa bihamdi, glory be to Allah and praise be to him, the number of his creatures, in accordance with his good pleasure, to the weight of his throne. And to the extent of his words. Juwayriya, may Allah be pleased with her, reported that the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, went out from her dwelling one morning at the time when he offered the Fajr prayer. While she was in her place of worship. He returned in the forenoon and found her sitting. He asked her, Are you still in the same state in which I left you? She said, Yes. He said, Since leaving you, I said three times four phrases which, if weighed against all what you have said today, would prove to be heavier. Subhanallah wa bihamdi adadar kali kai wa ridan if she was in artu ashai wa amidada kalimitai, glory be to Allah and praise be to him, the number of his creatures. In accordance with his good pleasure, to the weight of his throne, and to the extent of his word. Narrated by Muslim, 2726. The reward of saying la hawla wa la kwa to ilabila, there is no power nor strength except through Allah. Abu Musa al-Ashari, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said to me. Shall I tell you of one of the treasures of paradise? I said, yes. He said, la hawla wa la kwa to ilabila, there is no power nor strength except through Allah. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 7386, and Muslim, 2704. The Merit of the Sayyid Al-Istifa, Master of Istifa. Shadad ibn Aws, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. The most superior way of asking for Allah's forgiveness is to say. Allahumma anta rabbi laha ilaha ilrand, kalaktani wa anu abduka, wa anu alu adika wa wadika mastadat, or do bika min sheri ma sanat, abu ulaka bin imatiku alayya. Wa abu ulaka bide han bifa falifa in a ulaya fuad han yubu ilrand, o Allah, you are my lord. There is no god but you. You have created me, and I am your servant and I hold to your covenant and promise as much as I can. I seek refuge in you from the evil of what I have done. I acknowledge your favor upon me, and I acknowledge my sins. So, forgive me, for none forgives sins but you. Whoever says it during the day with firm faith in it and dies on the same day before the evening will be from the people of paradise. And whoever says it at night with firm faith in it and dies before the morning will be from the people of paradise. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 6306. The reward of saying Odu by Kalimatil at Damat Min Sheri Mark Kalak, I seek refuge in the perfect words of Allah from the evil of what he created. Call Ibn Hakim as Salamiyah, may Allah be pleased with her, reported, I heard the messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, say. Whoever alights somewhere and says, Or do by Kalimatil at Damat Min Sheri Mark Kalak, I seek refuge in the perfect words of Allah from the evil of what he has created. Nothing will harm him until he leaves that place. Narrated by Muslim, 2708. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. A man coming to the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, and said, O Messenger of Allah, I was stung by a scorpion last night. He replied, If you had said in the evening or do by Kalimatilla, I seek refuge in the perfect words of Allah from the evil of what he created, it would not have harmed him. The reward of the decree for sleeping. Al-Baru ibn Azib, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whenever you intend to go to bed, perform ablution as is due for prayer and then lie down on the right side and say. Allahumma islam to nafsi ilayk, wa fortu omri ilayk, wa liatu zari ilayk, rabatan wa rabatan ilayk, la malia wa la manya minka ilayk, a man should be kita biku aladi anzalt. Wa bina biku aladi asalt, o Allah, I have submitted myself to you. I have turned my face to you, entrusted my affairs to you, and rely completely upon you, out of desire for you and fear from you. There is no resort and no savour except you.
I affirm my faith in your book which you have revealed and in your prophet whom you have sent. If you die during that night, you will die upon the fitra, natural disposition, let these be your last words. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 247, and Muslim, 2710. The reward of what is done by one who gets up in the night. Yubad ibn as Samit, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever gets up at night and says, La ilaha illa Allah, wa ha'u la sharika lahu, lahu al mulk wa lahu al hamd, wa hu wa ala kali shayn katiya, alhamdulillah, wa subhan Allah. Wa la ilaha illa Allah, wa alahu akbar, wa la hawla wa la kwaatu illa billah, there is no God but Allah, alone, with no partner. To him belongs the dominion and to him praise is due, and he has power over all things. Praise be to Allah, and glory be to Allah, and there is no God but Allah, and Allah is the most great, and there is no power nor strength except through Allah. And then says Allah Hamwaifali, O Allah, forgive me, or supplicates, his supplication will be answered, and if he makes ablution and prays, his prayer will be accepted. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 1154. The reward of the Adhar after the obligatory prayers. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, some of the poor Mahajiran, emigrants, came to the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, and said to him. The wealthy have obtained all high ranks and everlasting bliss. He asked, how is that? They replied. They pray as we pray and fast as we fast, but they give charity while we do not, and they emancipate slaves while we do not. He said. Shall I teach you something whereby you will catch up with those who have excelled you and will get ahead of those who follow you? And no one will surpass you unless he does the same as you do? They said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. He said, Say Subhan Allah, and Allahu Akbar, and Alhamdulillah thirty-three times at the end of every prayer. They returned to him and said, Our brothers, the possessors of wealth, have heard what we are doing, so they started doing the same. Thereupon, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. His grace of Allah which he gives to whomever he wishes. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 843, and Muslim, 959. Kab ibn Ujra, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. There are some words, those who recite them at the end of every obligatory prayer will not be disappointed. These are, Subhan Allah, 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, and Allahu Akbar 34 times. Narrated by Muslim, 596. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever says at the end of every prayer Subhan Allah, 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, and Allahu Akbar, 33 times, those are 99 times. And then completes a hundred by saying, La ilaha illa Allah, wa ha'u la sharik lahu, lahu al mulk wa lahu al hamd, wa hu wa ala kali shayn katiya, there is no God but Allah, alone, with no partner. To him belongs the dominion and to him praise is due, and he has power over all things, his sins will be forgiven, even if they were like the foam of the sea. Narrated by Muslim, 597. The Reward of Supplication. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Allah says, I am as my servant thinks I am, and I am with him when he supplicates to me. Narrated by Muslim, 2675.